With more than 37 million followers on Instagram, Anushka Sen is one of the most admired actresses in India. And now she's gearing up to make her debut in South Korea and become a Hollywood you star. Here's her story. Annyeonghaseyo, my name is Anushka Sen. I'm an actress from India. This is my first ever time visiting Seoul, Korea. So welcome to our studio and welcome to Korea. Thank you. Thank so what brought you here to Korea? I have always been very curious about different different industries. Like I started acting at a very young age when I was eight years old. I've been acting for the past ten years. So I was like, okay, I did Indian projects, I did Indo international projects. Why not do something more? I discovered the K drama industry, and I started watching a lot of K dramas. I was very curious, so that's why I thought, why not? When I got the opportunity from Asia Lab. I was so excited because it was like a dream come true that I always wanted to work, you know, internationally. And now we have signed up with Asia Lab, and they are managing me for all the Korean movies and projects that are going to happen here. So before coming to Korea, there was a press release which went in India saying that um, I've been offered the projects from Korea. They went crazy because all us Indians, we are huge fans of K-dramas, K-pop and all together of Korean people because you guys are so sweet and so nice. And as soon as I arrived, everybody is so active and everybody is like, oh, you should try this, you should try this, this food, you should shop here. They are experiencing Korea through me, so I'm trying my best to just show them everything and, you know, share my real emotions with them. So how are you spending your precious time here in Korea? There's so many different things in Korea which is very different from India, like the food. Like for example, naengmyeon. It's so yummy. I didn't, so I was like, oh my God, cold noodles? How is this gonna happen? But then when I tried it, I really liked it. And the people of Korea are just so warm and welcoming. Even if they don't know the language that I speak, like English, they're still trying their level best with their body language. I'm learning a lot of Korean words as well. And not not only that, but we are doing something very interesting with Asia Lab. So our director Lee Jung Soo, we have like discussed a lot of ideas so that this is not only like a one-time collaboration, it's a very futuristic collaboration between Korea and India. We have started with God of Travel. This series is all about traveling. So for the past 10 days, we have been shooting vlogs and we are shooting some more secret stuff. We are doing some more secret stuff. <laughs> When did you start developing your interest in Korea or K-culture? It's definitely gonna be uh, during the lockdown when we were all at home and it was such a depressing time. I was like, okay, let's um, let's watch something new. Then I started watching K-dramas and I fell in love with it immediately. I watched so many K-dramas, you have no idea. Oh. And not only me, everybody is a huge fan. I think this Korean wave came at that time and thanks to BTS as well, BTS, Blackpink, they are doing so good and we are all just wishing that BTS would come to India and we would see the concert. <laughs> Do you have a favorite K-drama? Yes, I do. One is definitely gonna be Legend of the Blue Sea. Lee Min Ho is my favorite actor. Lee Min Ho Chua. Okay, what all shows has he done? And I've watched all of them. All of them. <laughs> Next is definitely gonna be Crash Landing on You because they got married as well. So it's like so cute. It's like a K-drama you real Yes. Life, right? So it's like, oh. When I came here and I started experiencing, I was like, I'm in a K-drama, oh my god. <laughs> so it's it's really nice. I started discovering that and it's literally a dream come true because when I was at home watching the shows, I was like, oh, I wish I could be there one day. And that's happening now. The best part about K-dramas, what I feel, or K-films or K-pop is that it's not made for a particular age of people. It's for everybody. I started watching alone, then my mom joins. Now me and my mom literally watch K-dramas together. It's like our thing. <laughs> Even dad watches it sometimes. So that's what I'm saying. It's so diverse that everybody can watch it. Working in Korea is a big challenge in itself because the language, 
the the content and the place is of course very different from India right and it's been so many years that I've worked in India and I've always tried to take up different roles uh, here also I would like to do the same I would like to experiment different different roles and not be stuck with one category like one particular genre I would like to do different different genres because I think uh, that will really improve my craft I have a goal of like connecting with people connecting with the Korean fans not only as like a famous person from India but I really want the people in Korea to get to know me uh, as a human being first and then of course see my craft as an actor that's my goal I want to say to my Indian fans you have always been with me and always supported me motivated me to you know be myself do different projects challenge myself whenever I go to anywhere like I'm very confident because I have this huge army behind me so thank you so much all I need is your support like usual <laughs>